Hi, this is Matt from tracyandmatt.co.uk and for unboxings.com, having just come back from the Apple shop in Cambridge here in the UK, uh, where Tracy's actually been queuing uh, since around 2 p.m. this afternoon, and uh, by 7 p.m. we managed to get our hands on the new iPad 2. I'm going to do a quick unboxing video for you. I appreciate there's probably going to be a ton of unboxing videos uh, on YouTube and elsewhere on the web. But uh, as we've unboxed everything else, well, it'd be a bit rude not to actually unbox the iPad as well. So, I've got the smart cover here. This is the red leather one. And the iPad 2 right here. This is the 64 gig 3G version. And as you can see, it's still sealed. And let's take a look inside. So, right on top, obviously, we have the iPad itself, which is covered in this uh, protective plastic film. Come back to that in a second, just to tell you what else is in the box. We have a uh, UK 3 pin plug here, which couples with the small USB style wall charger, and that becomes our full mains charger. Then we have the typical 30 pin Apple connector with a USB connector on the other end. That's a standard cable accessory that uh, all uh, iPods and iPhones and everything else basically have. So let's just pop that away for a moment. Then the only other thing here in the box is the warranty card and the important product guide, a couple of Apple stickers which Apple seems to provide with virtually everything they sell. Uh, and just a card here, really, that just tells us how to, uh, how to use it, what the buttons do, and a few other bits and pieces. We also notice in here, as with, again, with other Apple products, there is a component here, which uh, is used for ejecting the SIM tray. It's actually slightly different to the one that you get with the iPhone. Uh, rather than being a pressed aluminium, this one is more like a paper clip. And let's face it, almost all of us you lose this little connect the little tool anyway and end up using a paper clip so uh, I guess why not just use a paper clip so uh, that's everything in the box we'll have a quick look at the iPad itself and uh, we'll take the plastic off like so and with the 3G version as with the uh, actual iPad the first iPad there's an area at the top here which is basically where your uh, antenna and everything else is for um, yeah, when you're actually using it in uh, wireless mode with uh, a SIM card. Most notable differences with this one versus the original iPad which I have here really going to be the thickness. So uh, as you can see, or hopefully you can see the difference between the two. The iPad 2 being uh, approximately a third thinner than the original iPad and about 15% lighter. It does feel quite a bit lighter. 15% uh, seems to go quite a long way, so it is quite a bit lighter. And there is the forward-facing camera, which is uh, just a kind of a standard VGA camera that use that for. Um, uh, I guess you can be able, be able to use that for Skype, photo booth, and uh, obviously Apple's own video conferencing product. Uh, the display is much the same as the original. It's a 768 by 1024 display the home push button down the side, the bezel around the outside of the display is that bit smaller uh, than the original iPad, although physically they are almost identical in uh, footprint. Uh, around the outside have the SIM tray there on the side, I believe that's a SIM tray, which is obviously a micro SIM card tray. And also around the top we have the 3.5mm headphone connector, a power button, the rear facing camera which is basically just a one megapixel camera, the little switch which uh, obviously depending on how you've got that set up in the settings on the actual uh, operating system will either lock the rotation or work as a mute and then next to that is the up and down volume control. On the bottom is the 30 pin Apple dock connector and then the large large loudspeaker grill just on the back there. There's only one loudspeaker grill, it's not one on each side. 
In terms of specification, most people are going to know, you know, almost uh, quite a lot about this. It's been certainly in the news an awful lot lately. Um, but it has the dual core A5 processor uh, coupled with it. It's actually a 9.7 inch display, as I say, which is 768 by 1024. Still has the 10 hour battery life, uh, despite having all the other bits and pieces and the fast processor. A bit more memory, 3 axis gyro, and uh, proximity sensor. Uh, loads of other bits and pieces, obviously built in Wi-Fi, 802.11bg and N standards and uh, as I say this model being the 3G one will actually take a micro SIM card so you can use it with, uh, with obviously a SIM card uh, along, you will obviously need uh, a, some sort of contract with a mobile network operator um, and there are various deals out there at the moment that you can obviously take with uh, most of the UK carriers will um, give you a contract or pay as you go or whatever um, and unlike the original it is also available in white so you've got the white version there of the iPad 2 um, identical in everything, uh, any, uh, every other way uh, with the exception obviously of it being in white this one is uh, just the Wi-Fi version it's so uh, on the back you don't have the black area at the top you just have uh, the aluminium back rather than the black portion um, prim primary reason for that is that if that was all aluminium the antenna would be blocked out partially by the aluminium. Pink case there for, uh, for Tracy and obviously the red case here for myself and uh, these smart covers which we're just going to hopefully just open this now and take a look. Much has been said about these, uh, these aluminium smart covers um, not least the fact that they are uh, pretty expensive. This leather version is about uh, well, it's over fifty pounds here in the UK. Uh, the vinyl version, which the the pink is, is about thirty five pounds. Uh, really easy to fit. It's simply a case of kind of lining it up and putting it on, and that is that simple. And to remove it, it's just a case of pulling it off. The magnets are pretty strong. In fact, very strong and uh, just which I've managed to line themselves up very simply like that and that's it when we actually do power up well I haven't done that yet because uh, I do need to synchronize that with iTunes in order to make that work but when I do synchronize that with iTunes and actually have the iPad powered up that will actually turn on and off the iPad or put it in, in and out of sleep mode when I place or remove the cover it folds up like so and with the magnet inside, we'll actually make it stand in that way or that orientation as well. So it's neat and tidy and easy to keep, use the keyboard. Just a quick look there, obviously, at the iPad 2. Um, I'm sure there's going to be hundreds of reviews online. I'll have my comments on tracyandmat.co.uk over the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash tracyandmat or facebook.com slash tracyandmat.co.uk. Back soon with some more videos and reviews on tracyandmat.co.uk. But for now, thanks for watching. Bitdefender is dedicated to protecting people's digital lives, so working with unboxings.com to help preview and review the latest technology is a perfect fit.